Uh, let's start off with Patrick. Patrick is first up on PTL. Hello, Patrick. Again, Brian, it's MAGA Patrick. Again, show okay. me some respect. No, no, I, I, not, no, thank you. What, what's on your mind, Patrick? Uh, you were talking about what is masculine. You know what was masculine when Donald Trump stood up after getting shot at, raising his fist in the air and saying, fight, fight, fight. That was, that was pretty epic. You've got to give him that. That was pretty masculine. Epic? Okay, so let me ask you a question. No, I don't think that was epic or masculine because right after he shot, he should be worried out the safety of, of his supporters and others that he actually put everybody in jeopardy by getting back up and telling the Secret Service, wait, wait, so he, could, mm-hmm. so he can try to prove to everybody that he's masculine. So now let me ask you, that's my opinion on that. Do you think it's masculine to wake up in the morning and put eight, eight layers of orange makeup on and wear a girdle? Do you think it's masculine to attack women on looks? Uh-huh. Do you think it's masculine to attack the handicap? Do you think it's masculine to attack somebody who is a POW and attack them because he was captured? Sir, do you think that's masculine? Now, can you please I, answer I, I my question? I thought we could have a serious conversation. I'm asking you, this is a serious, this is a serious there's conversation. A, no, 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 you're not going to dodge a, my, lot, you are not going to dodge my question. You started the conversation by saying you think Donald Trump is masculine because after he was shot at, he put up his fist and said, fight, fight, fight. Do you think Donald Trump has ever been in a physical altercation in his life? Do you think Donald Trump has ever fought for anybody else but himself? Do you think Donald Trump, he the morbid, shot yeah, he was shot who, who else has Donald yeah, Trump fought for? Uh, uh, he got shot for. Why don't you huh? answer my question? You yeah. haven't answered any of my questions directly, and I answered yours when we started this conversation. Do you think it's masculine for somebody to have four hair transplants and wear eight okay. layers of orange makeup and dodge the military? Is that your definition of masculine? Answer the question. Yes, it is. It's, it, it is, Brian. But okay, then you're an idiot. The then you're million. an idiot. Then you are an idiot. That's not the. Do you think it's masculine to attack women on looks? You guys lost. You don't even have the majority anymore. You lost the popular vote. We're not talking about the popular vote now. You were talking about Donald Trump and masculinity. You're changing the subject. That's a different topic. You're claiming that it's masculine for somebody to dodge the military, to attack women on looks and demean women and demean uh, immigrants. You think it's masculine to wear eight layers of orange makeup and a girdle and walk around like you're Mr. Tough Guy. What is wrong with you? You have no idea what the definition I, 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 I of masculinity is. I think Trump is highly entertaining. You're not you're answering my question. You start, you start, I think your hatred towards people that have compassion is not entertaining. It's pathetic. And I think you're pathetic. Have a nice day, Patrick. Notice how they start a conversation talking about a topic, and then when I destroy them on it, they want to talk about something else. Patrick is a pea brain. Oh, well, I think Donald Trump's really masculine when he got shot at, and he stood up and he said, fight, fight, fight. That's not masculine. You know what the masculine thing to do would be? The first thing to do when you got up, care about other people. Don't put others in jeopardy. And after you're shot at, you shouldn't be standing up. And the first thing you think about is, boy, how can I make myself look good in this situation? That's all he was doing when he got a boo-boo on his ear. That's all he was doing. People died. But he gets up and say, fight, fight, fight. Donald Trump dodged the military. And he attacks people that risk their life for this country. So don't you give me this garbage of fight, 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 Patrick, you imbecile. 702-221-7283, 702-221-7283, the number to call. Let's go to Lori. Lori is next up on PTL. Hey, Lori. Hey, two things. First of all, I, it baffles my mind that most of these mega Republicans claim to be Christians and act like they do. Second of all, I deleted all my subscriptions when we lost because I was scared. I was worried about what Trump was going to do, and I didn't want to see it. Mm -hmm. Out of sight, out of mind. Although I come back today and said, no, I can't do that. I got to keep up with it. But that was that was my reason. Yeah. Uh, Well, I don't I don't blame you. Um, And this is a a tough pill to swallow for all of us. But at the same time, if you listen to my interview with Ron Filipowski, we need to hold Donald Trump's feet to the fire. I will continue to make the promise to all of you that I will make sure that MAGA Republicans and Republicans.